Hello, welcome to the truce. Is Donald Trump actually going to become president? Of course he bloody well isn't. But he might make politics even more bloody ridiculous while he's trying. Hmm, he looks too much like a baby, doesn't he? Let's have a look. What is it with you and Megyn Kelly? Well, I just don't respect her as a journalist. I have no respect for her. I don't think she's very good. I think she's highly overrated. Donald Trump, as I've said before, has crossed that line into being kind of delightful because he's so absurd. Now, this thing where he said Megyn Kelly, I believe a Fox News journalist, might be menstruating, that the only reason you could find Donald Trump objectionable is because you're menstruating. Let me tell you this. I find Donald Trump objectionable and I am not menstruating. She gets out and she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. It's almost such a profound misunderstanding of the nature of manners, male-female interaction, media, politeness, common decency, that you sort of think, oh, don't ever say that, Donald. Why? Why not say that? Why not imply a woman's menstruating? Now, on the southern border, everybody comes in. Mm -hmm. You just walk by. So we're taking hundreds of thousands of people and some rapists and some killers. I don't know what goes on in his mind when he's alone. That's what confuses me mostly about Donald. Does he actually think these things? He sort of occupies the same space as people like Katie Hopkins, where you think like, you know, I've been guilty of being a provocateur before, but it's usually with things I believe, and it usually comes from a place of sort of unity, togetherness, trust, aspiring to be a better type of a person. With that, it's like, well, you're just trying to hatch it away at humanity. Mexican folks, they're rapists. Do you actually think that? No! <laughs> well, stop saying it then. And they're flowing through the southern border. Hmm. And I would build a wall like nobody can build a wall. He's really got tickets on himself for building walls good. Nobody can build a fence like me, David, you know that. What is this thing about fences and walls? Like, he's made some money in construction, but like Donald Trump, like most rich people, is rich because when he emerged out of a vagina, there was loads of money attached to the vagina. He just comes out of a rich vagina. There's nobody can build a fence, and I would have Mexico pay for it, believe me. They will pay for it because they have really ripped this country off. I've lived in Los Angeles. You get rid of Mexican people, nothing's gonna fucking get done. They have really taken advantage of us. If I was to say, I don't like the people in my street, I want a wall built between me and them, and I want them to pay for it, You'd like, it's, it's, it's just such a staggering number of idiotic suggestions that you're almost crushed under the weight of it. Perhaps that's his intention, to be so, it's sort of, perhaps it's like a frequency jam. He says so many stupid things that you sort of in the end go, go, oh, all right, be in charge. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. I suppose what's worrying here is the, the sound of cheering rather than, like, not the sound of people gasping in horror at these ludicrous announcements from this preposterous figure, who I have actually met, who I've been involved in a direct discourse with, who I've had sort of what you might call online spats with. You can't take this good guy seriously. He's, he's hilarious. But what I think will happen as a result of Trump's participation in the presidential election is that he kind of pollutes the air with toxic thinking, and it forms part of a crazy zeitgeist. You know my views on conventional politics. It's meaningless. These spectacular, ludicrous, grotesque figures, however, do contribute to the maintenance and exacerbation of a mood of negativity and making politics dumber and stupider and more inhuman than ever. And perhaps no one is more expert at that than Donald Trump. No one builds idiots like Donald Trump. We need to build a wall. And it has to be built quickly. Well, that's the last way you should build a wall. Go! Oh, oh shit, fuck, no, we didn't have the right stuff. Oh, oh it's full, ah, oh, bollocks, that was Humpty Dumpty, oh, crap. We need to keep illegals out. Even Jeb Bush, who surely in polite company would typically be the token idiot, looks on with amusement at Donald Trump, like, oh my God, this is, look at this guy. Mr. Trump, I'll give you 30 seconds. To fuck off. I'll give you 30 seconds to answer my question, which was, what evidence do you have, specific evidence, that the Mexican government is sending criminals? Okay, okay. that's okay. 
Okay, will this be specific evidence, Donald? Are you gonna say that you simply went near to a border and stood there for a while? 30 seconds. Border patrol, I was at the border last week. I was at the border, karate chopping Mexicans, either side of the neck. Hiya, hiya. They say this is what's happening because our leaders are stupid. Our politicians are stupid. Who are these border control people that Donald Trump's bothering? Oh, fucking hell, he's here again. Wait a second, I'm very busy. Hey! What's going on? What's happening at the border? And the Mexican government is much smarter, much sharper, much more cunning, and they send the bad ones over because they don't want to pay for them. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we send all the bad ones who we already have in a paddock across the border? What if Donald Trump gets in? He will build a wall. They'll never elect Trump. We are too cunning. This is the world he lives in. They don't want to take care of him. Why should they when the stupid leaders of the United States will do it for him? And that's what's happening whether you like it or not. Yes, Donald Trump is a joke, but the punchline is a worse world for everyone. That's some true news. Subscribe here. To leave you scared and confused Truths is like the news If the news was true I want some truths Let's have some truths